Spicing up your page content with user interactions is a great way to engage your audience and grab the reader's attention. Site Designer's effects pane consists of a number of controls that you may use to add these nice touches to the initial appearance of the design. Let's do a quick transition demonstration, shall we? First, add a picture element on the canvas and set its proportions under the dimensions section. Next, with the picture still selected, go to the Styles pane, Apply Styles, in State, and use the drop down to select Hover. This way, the styles that are applied going further will display for the user when they pass over the picture. Now, select the Effects tab under the Styles pane. Under Transitions, hit the all properties box to expand the different fields available, such as properties to apply the transition to, what function to perform, and set time and delay for the transition to take place. Just below transitions, you will find the 2D and 3D transform functions tab. It offers many options such as scale, rotate, perspective, and more. For now, since the hover is selected, just resize the image, then just rotate it slightly. Click on the canvas to return to the element styling to its normal state. If you press Preview in the top toolbar, you will see by hovering over the image the properties that have been applied. To take it one step further, you can make this transition smoother by adding the transitions to it. Select the element and change it back to the hover state. Then go to the Effects tab and choose Add New Transition. Then set a time of 0.5 seconds and a delay of 0.2. Press Preview up top to see how smooth this transition is. Finally, let's get creative and apply a little filter when hovering. To do this, we go back to the Styles pane and change the in-state control to Hover. Then go to the Styles pane, Effects, and under Filters and Blend Mode, put the image in grayscale. The interactive possibilities are endless. Using the Hover state, you can change all the properties you want. And this applies to all elements, text, headings, pictures, videos, and even containers too. Visit the Site Designer Help Guide where you can find more information and effects demonstrations.